Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Thomas Warrock and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the topic, which protects you better, VPN or antivirus? Let's go ahead and discuss. Now guys, if you aren't aware, I'm the one who made the first VPN tier list at vpntierlist.com. Go ahead and check that out. Um, click on some of the VPN reviews, click on some of the links to help support the channel. This is the only as far as I know, objective data-driven tier list out there, ranking every single VPN. So make sure to pick the right choice. Right now we have Nord, TorGuard, Hide.me, Surf, and Proton as excellent options. Nord being the number one choice right now. I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But let's get back to the video at hand discussing VPNs and antivirus. So guys, antivirus and VPNs, both are pretty important tools. I would say that antivirus was more of an important tool way back in the day. Um, because the internet was like increasingly unsecure. Like uh, I feel like the certain incarnations of Windows have gotten a little bit better at in, um, including stuff like Windows Defender. And overall security in some ways has gotten a little bit better in terms of people just being more educated and stuff like that, not to click on pop-ups and so forth. I remember back in the day when I was growing up, um, pop-ups were like everywhere. I haven't seen a pop-up for who knows how long. We have stuff like ad trackers, um, you know, ad blockers, I mean, stuff like Braze Browser and those kind of things um, that do help people. And back in the day, you didn't really have anything like that. So definitely the privacy and kind of security space has grown a lot. Um, and some people don't even really use a paid antivirus. In my opinion, though, there are ways to kind of get the best of both worlds. And we'll kind of discuss that in a little bit. Um, and there's also other exclusive antivirus tools as well that are also trying to do VBN and VPN trying to do antivirus. I think VPNs that do antivirus are actually better than antivirus that are doing VPNs. But again, we'll discuss that in a little bit. VPNs though, unlike antivirus, are not really a tool that scans your computer and looks for things. It's more of a thing that deals with your internet side of your computer. So it's kind of connecting to remote servers and kind of anonymizing you in terms of privacy. Although VPNs do kind of have a security benefit as well. The overall technology at least was kind of developed for people to work securely at home and stuff like this, or even in coffee shops and so forth. Nowadays though, consumer VPNs, a lot of people use them for unblocking G restrictions, downloading torrented material to protect their IP address, general anonymity from your ISP and those kind of things. Some people still do use the technology of VPN to remote into a home server to access their network securely. Um, if you keep ports open on your network, for example, to get back in there, you're gonna have hackers crawling around your network like fleas in a hotel bed. Antivirus, primarily you just put on your computer, it scans for dangerous files and so forth. Some antivirus kind of are able to block things and kind of detect things to some degree. Um, and they're also useful in that way to kind of prevent you from infecting your computer and leaking stuff from there. So actually, you know, VPNs can protect your network in a lot of ways. Um, v uh, and antivirus kind of protects your computer itself. That's a kind of a good way to understand the differences, but consumer VPNs and that kind of VPN technology also kind of muddies the pit a little bit. Now I kind of did want to discuss something a little bit more in detail when it comes to that is kind of like the difference between understanding VPN. Now VPN just stands for virtual private network. You can buy a VPN service that's going to do a lot of the work for you. It's going to give you service to access. It's going to be good for general anonymity, torrenting, and these kind of things basically. And then you also have like VPN technology itself, whether that means like something like OpenVPN or WireGuard, you can host your own VPN, set up configuration on your computer, and then kind of connect to it um, from a remote location. Now these are kind of two different things and a lot of people on YouTube kind of get them confused. Um, this primarily is for like, if you want to access your media server outside of your home or you want to securely transfer files somewhere else, this is kind of like what businesses do. They kind of set up their own VPN networks in this way to remotely access their computers, but they're not really torrenting, unblocking your restrictions and these kind of things. Whereas with a consumer grade VPN, that's what you are doing. But that said, even VPNs like NordVPN do have a mesh networking feature, which do kind of make it have the benefits of being able to do kind of remote access and stuff like that too. So it's kind of the best of both worlds if you guys are interested in that. Um, so that's one way to think of it. Um, just kind of the differences between, you know, what people talk about when they discuss VPNs. Now, do you really need a VPN and antivirus? Well, I would say probably for most people, it is a good idea, even if you are an educated internet user. Um, there are some cool VPNs out there that do include both options. For example, while wow, my green screen needs to be edited. 
So we have something like Surfshark, for example, which does include, include antivirus uses of your SDK, which is pretty good. And it gives you VPN all for around $120 for 27 a month, which is a pretty damn good deal. Um, so that's definitely an option. If you're looking to use both VPN and um, um, antivirus, I'll put a link in the description down below. Purchasing them separately can be expensive. You can use something like Windows Defender, um, but some of the antivirus tools out there include more kind of like anti-malware capability. And so this one does do that with Surfshark. It kind of prevents you from downloading stuff and installing it. Whereas Windows Defender is more like if you install something or you have something on your computer, it might kind of detect it and remove it for you. Um, but there are kind of like more preventative methods out there that I think are important. Surfshark does include that. There also are some other ones that I've had good experiences with out there like Malwarebytes. Um, this is a pretty good one to be honest. I've, I've used this one for a number of years. Um, they also include VPN stuff too, but they're just kind of rebranding Mulvad. Um, and not really adding anything new to it. Um, that's something they did to kind of get into the VPN marketplace. And that's kind of what I mean by these VPNs that are kind of, you know, or the antivirus that are getting into um, VPN. I, you know, I don't really think it works the other way around. I think Surfshark makes a good VPN and a good antivirus, um, but I don't really think that these um, antiviruses are making good VPNs. I've reviewed a number of them on my channel and they're all pretty bad, pretty terrible, and not really that good of value. Um, so that's just something to kind of think about. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I choose the right antivirus and the right VPN? Why well, I really recommend Surfshark is a decent option. The reason I recommended that is because obviously includes both ones and it's a top rated VPN here on the tier list. Now NordVPN does kind of have some kind of threat protection features, but it's not as fully fledged antivirus as something like Surfshark. Uh, from all these options here, Surfshark, in my opinion, is really the only good bundled option when it comes to antivirus and VPN. So if that's what you're looking for, Go ahead and check out Surfshark. That said, if you do want to purchase both separately, you could consider center something like NordVPN, which does have decent threat protection. And you can also check out some other things. You might even just want to use Windows Defender, free version of Malwarebytes or something like that. Um, I would say if I'm not using Surfshark's antivirus, I like using Malwarebytes. So I'll also put a link in the description down below. It's not a bad option. So guys, in conclusion, both antivirus and VPN have their own place on your computer. VPNs can encrypt you and give you privacy and security in terms of your internet. And antivirus are more about the software on your computer and protecting it from being infected. There are varying levels of success you can do this with um, when it comes to choosing the right product, of course, like I said. I don't know if a lot of those other antiviruses are worth it anymore, stuff like Norton, those kind of things. Um, I've always not really been a huge fan of those ones. If you're gonna pick a specific antivirus kind of malware of avoidance company, I would pick something like Malwarebytes, but Surfshark is a good option if you wanna blend the both of two worlds. Let me know what you guys think in the description down below. What do you think is more important, VPNs or antivirus um, in the modern age? Um, I think antivirus has definitely have kind of not been as popular. We could kind of look at like um, trends and compared to VPNs. VPNs certainly have become more popular. And I think part of that is just because some of the companies have gotten so big. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments down below.